You wanted it, you got it. We have coverage of the Modern Warfare 3 beta and the recommended settings for both tiers for the beta weekend. Is the game better or worse than Modern Warfare 2 on both machines? Well, let's get dialed in so you can play this weekend. To get access to the beta, make sure you select the Modern Warfare 3 beta on the modify install for battle.net users. Steam users should already have the beta installed since Steam installs everything. Now let's start with the power upgrade first. Let's just say playing the game on the power upgrade is like playing Modern Warfare 2 before the bloat. The beta performs wonderfully. I've been playing at 4K on ultra settings with DLSS set to performance. Feel free to play with this, but I've been getting an FPS averaging around 80 and topping out in the triple digits. Any resolutions lower than 4K are not going to have any issues playing this game. But please note, I recommend not to use DLSS or other scaling options for 1080p users. It generally just looks pretty bad. With the power upgrade though, you really won't need it. Now for the question most people are wondering. How does the base shadow tier play the Modern Warfare 3 beta? Well, I have more good news than bad. Starting at 4K, you're going to want to set the graphics settings all the way down to minimum with FSR or Intel XS set to performance. You're going to get an FPS between 30 and 45 depending on the map. Now if you're comfortable playing like this, then have at it, but I don't recommend it. This was the bad news. But since you're already on the lowest graphics settings, Lowering your resolution down to 1440p increases the FPS right around 60. These are my preferred settings for 4K and 1440p users. I played very well in these settings as you'll see soon. Now for 1080p players, I recommend balanced graphics with upscaling off. I was getting FPS from 50s to 70s on most maps. Feel free to lower the settings to get a higher FPS if you like. The shadow decoder seemed to be holding up for me in this game for both tiers and all resolutions as seen here. But this might depend on the user because Hefe was getting mid 30s on the power upgrade. And yes, we use the same machines. But I did notice that if you change the refresh rate in game to 60, this will fix itself. I'm gonna have to try this with other games. Also remember that this is just the beta. I do expect bloat to happen with this game just as it did with Modern Warfare 2. Hopefully that's not the case, but we'll see. Now for those wondering if the base shadow tier can really keep up, here's some raw gameplay with my recommended settings at 1440p on the crowd favorite map Rust, playing hardpoint with a massive win. Our link to get 10% off both shadow tiers is in the description. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more. Friendly UAV on station. Drag out! Enemy. 
With you, mate. Got on your six. relocating. Stand by. Recon at this time. On your six.